Bakit nga? Sadyang wala pa talaga, hindi pa dumarating. Hindi ko hindi wala pa eh. Tatakot na. <laughs> Most yan, tanong talaga nila kung bakit wala pa akong boyfriend. Wala pa. Bakit? Magbabalik po! Ah! Dato ko pangalan na sa... Yung tanong mo, what to do kapag binabalikan ka ng ex mo? Dapat ba o hindi mo siya entertain Parang for me, basically, depende, di ba? Kung may pag-asa pa, bakit hindi mo siya balikan? Siguro depende sa extent ng nangyari sa inyo. You'll be able to know the strength of your relationship, not in good times. You'll be able to know the strength of your relationship in the worst moments in your life. May kita nga yung strength ng relationship niyo if you actually show that you have teamwork where in times are actually bad or very challenging. The best solution there is always to communicate. Pero kapag kagalik ka, mas maganda na itahimik natin yung sarili natin. Kasi dun tayo makakasave ng maraming pagsisisi. Sabihin mong may point ka, kaya ka nagalit dahil kasalanan nila. Pero yung ginawa mo, sa kanila ba yung nag-reflect? Hindi, di ba? Nag-reflect yun sa'yo. Pero hindi ko sinasabing bawal tayong malungkot o bawal, uh, bawal tayong magalit o bawal tayong mainis. There's this part in our brain daw na kapag ka nagagalit tayo, parang nagiging ano yung amygdala natin, nagiging um, active siya. So, pag naging active siya, parang andun yung part na uh, parang, ito na, lalabas na yung anger ko, lalabas na yung emotion ko. We should not be blaming others pagka nainis siya. Bakit ka nainis sa akin? So, if you are the person na parang more understanding at that point, parang you will say, ah, baka yung amygdala niya na-hijack at this point. Kaya yun yung nasabi niya, yun yung na-feel niya. Paano kung love mo lang siya talaga? The question is, Are you giving yourself love? If babalikan mo pa siya, para will it be fair for you at the very first place? Kung binibigyan mo siya ng love, pero may time na yun nafeel mo na hindi mo na nabibigyan ng love yung sarili mo. It's very important for you to find the person or accept the love of the person who's compatible to you. People are actually overvaluing compatibility and commitment over attraction and chemistry or admiration. Parang para sa atin, hala, siya na yung tipo ng lalaki ko, siya na yung tipo ng tao. Kasi yung mga physical qualities nasa kanya na, at saka parang pag kami magkasama, nagkakasunto talaga kami, we're so fun together na kami lang yung nakakaintindihan. Basically, you can find chemistry in many persons. Kaya nga madami kang kaibigan eh, kasi you have chemistry. Pero sobrang mas mahalaga, hindi lang chemistry, compatibility and commitment. That person should be compatible to you. For me, yeah, yes, opposite attracts, but I do believe that it is similarities which will strengthen a relationship. Ma-attract ka talaga sa iba sa'yo, di ba? Parang, hala, ang galing niya, gusto ko din matutunon. Hala, ang tapang niya, gusto ko din maging ganong katapang. Ma-attract ka dun sa taong iba sa'yo. Pero para sa akin, mas magtatagal yung relasyon ninyo kapag marami kayong pagkakatulad. Para sa akin lang yun ha. I mean, halimbawa, uh, ako na-enjoy ko yung travel. Ikaw naman na-enjoy mo yung sedentary life lang na TV-TV lang. Paano tayo magkakasundo? <laughs> diba? So it, for me, it is similarities which will strengthen your relationship. And admiration is actually important as well. For you to be able to respect that person, you have to first admire that person. And respect is so important in any relationship. Commitment is very important. That person should be right and ready. He should be right in terms of the capacity or qualities he has. Physically, socially, financially, emotionally, intellectually, spiritually, ready siya. So he should be right and ready to commit to you and not to other person. If that person is not ready to commit to you, why are you investing your love and emotion to that person? That is very, very unfair for you and for that person. 
it's unfair for you kasi you're giving every you're giving and making things for the other person na wala kang nare-receive hindi eh we are not superhuman beings we are not heroes we are not immortals here we are human beings na napapagod na hirapan na iiyak So, ibig sabihin, the other person should also give his or her take on this relationship. And sa kanya din, bakit? All kind of relationship should be give and take. It should be mutual. Every one of us are given different blessings and given enough blessings. So, let's say if you have a cup and then ito yung blessing mo, huwag mo nga hayaan na yung kalahati ng cup o three-fourth ng cup binigay mo sa iba. Kasi para sa sa'yo yun eh, binigay ng Diyos sa yun. Para mo siyang ginawang magnanakaw ng hindi niya alam. Kasi yung para sa'yo na binigay mo pa sa kanya, pero yun ba yung selfish na akin to, akin lang to? Hindi. Nagtrabaho ka, nagpuyat ka, naghirap ka, kung ano yung sumobra sa cup, yun yung ibigay mo sa iba. You have to give light to your candle first before you'll be able to light others' candle. We have to guard our heart. Because I, I believe that the main reason why our heart is enclosed with ribs is because these are like cages. We have to protect our heart or else we will continuously receive the pain which will tell us that we are not worth loving. And do you want that to be inculcated in your mind? I'm not worth being loved. We should be treating ourselves as important. We should give ourselves self-respect. Parang kings and queens, di ba? We should be treating ourselves as a king or as a queen. And as a king or a queen, you should not bow down too much because your tiara or your crown is falling. You should be understanding to the person you love. You should fight dearly for that relationship. Pero kapag sobrang bow down ka na, huwag masyado. Kasi babagsak yung corona mo. You are a king. You are a queen. And you should not let that crown fall because of other person. We have to remember that there are two kinds of happiness. The short-term and long-term kind of happiness. So you have to ask yourself, is it a short-term kind? If that is just comfortability, that is a short-term kind of happiness. That is just pleasure. Kaya ang tanong lagi, what is the long-term kind of happiness for me? Sabi mo mahirap, di ba? That is really hard. And again, no one should be invalidating what you're feeling. You're suffering right now. Mostly, kahit yung sino mang makarinig sa akin ngayon, if you're suffering right now, I'm with you on that. It's very hard to feel that kind of emotion, feeling, depression, anxiety, sadness, and all. Sobrang hirap niyan. If you'll be able to find something which gives you life, satisfaction, and fulfillment, it will give your life meaning. And if you, it will give you your life possibility, a chance to live more beautiful or happier. You have to find something you want. Kasi yun talaga yung masabi kong part na hindi para makalimutan siya. Pero para masabing may kwenta ang buhay ko. And I have worth, I have love, I have happiness in me. Kung bakit doon to, ganyan wala siyang boyfriend. Are you happy? I'm happy. But of course, I will be happier if the, a person who will give more color to my life will okay. But if you will be asking me, am I happy? I'm very, very happy right now because of the team I have, because of the people I'm surrounded with, and because I'm being able to pursue what I want, and that is hosting. If you're looking for the love of your life, stop. Do the things that you love, and you'll most probably see the love of your life. <laughs>